Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to the monthly weight loss recap. If you are new here, my name is Jasmine Rosette and in this series, I document my weight loss journey in a vlog style type of format and I show you the ins and outs and the ups and downs, the real grind, grit of my weight loss journey. So before we get into it, I would ask that you subscribe so you can keep up with your favorite girl on the internet. That's me, by the way. And like, comment, as well as follow me on Instagram so you can keep up with me in real time. All right, let's get into this month's recap. It is the 1st of July. I am on my way to the gym. And, sorry. I'm gonna do, I'm thinking of just doing 30 minutes. I woke up a little later than expected. It's currently 8.24. I don't want to be at the gym super long um, because I have a lot of errands to do today on the first since I have the day off. So I'm just going to get like 30 minutes in. I might just do the stairs. I was thinking maybe I could do the elliptical, but I like the feeling of sweating a lot. <laughs> so that's what I'm going to do. So anyways, here is to the first of July. I did it. I worked out. I did arms today um, and then 30 minutes on the stairs, 15 minutes on the bike. But arms are, are done as well. <sighs> Look at me out here the next morning getting this workout in. Um, it's currently 528. So I can only really do 30 minutes. So I'm just going to do 30 minutes on the stairs, then come home, shower, eat, and go to work. Honestly, with yesterday's workout, I wasn't sure if I was going to make it, but I did. I did 30 minutes on the stairs. Oh my god, I'm so tired. Good morning, beautiful people. Happy 4th of July. Happy Independence Day. I It is currently 7.30 and I'm headed to the gym. I think today I'm gonna do some like legs and um, obviously cardio. Fourth of July season, got some burgers, got my little broccoli. She has her little section over here. We have potato salad. Just getting me a little burger patty ready. Baked beans. We have lettuce, lettuce tomato. Tomato and then bun. Burger. And then I also I have so coconut much. water <sighs> as well. Yes. Happy 4th of July, Grandma. Happy 4th to you too, Jasmine. <laughs> okay. Costume change. Braids are officially out. Today's Sunday. And I went to Trader Joe's to get groceries and i told you guys last time about the nutty bites that like nice little snack i just bought these dark chocolate crisps also from trader joe's they are bomb right grandma <laughs> yeah i'll do that and they're pretty small before i get a chance to eat it Hey, I bought them for myself, Grandma. I know you did. If I had known they were that good, I would have bought me some. I don't know they were that good either. This is my first time buying them. Yeah, but still, yeah, chats, man. Okay. Okay. So, today is Tuesday. And I haven't gone to the gym this week so far. Uh, for some reason, my, like, I've been taking Zyrtec for a while. And I'm starting to feel better, but I have like a couple more pills left of it and I need to finish it to make sure that I don't need to take these allergy medications anymore. But um, it's making me super groggy in the morning this week. It's just, it just feels really strong. And so every morning has been a struggle to wake up. So yesterday and today and on Sunday as well. And so I haven't gone to the gym. And I was going to go to the gym this evening, but honestly, I'm just not really feeling in the mood to. So that's my update for this week so far. I'm not going to be going to the gym for four times this week, maybe next week, but 
Man, I just feel tired, very drowsy. Well, I just finished at the gym. I did 30 minutes on the stairs and 10 minutes on the bus, on the, on the bus. Man, I'm really tired. 10 minutes on the bike. If I can explain to you how dead tired I am, oh my gosh. I just want to fall asleep right now. My goodness. So I went in. Ugh. I did arms, abs, and 30 minutes on the stairs. It is 5.56. Also, I don't know if I've mentioned this, but when I work out in the mornings, I work out fasted. I can't have anything immediately before working out because I feel like I'm gonna throw up. So I work out fasted and today I could really feel how empty my stomach was. I was just like, oh my God, I need to eat. I didn't feel like I needed to, like I was gonna pass out. It wasn't that, it was just like, I really just felt how empty my stomach was. And I was just like, I just need to finish on the Stairmaster. I'm not gonna do 15 minutes on the bike. I, I just need to get home take a shower and make some breakfast that's the honest to god truth right now just finished up at the gym i did 20 minutes on the bike um it is currently 5 19 p.m and today honestly was a throwaway day this morning was super frustrating i wasn't able to go to the gym and at work um I wasn't able to eat lunch. I literally, only today, I've had a bagel, half a bagel, a couple chips, and a couple crackers. Like, literally two chips and probably four crackers. So, and I already planned on getting Chick-fil-A tonight. I'm gonna go ham on those fries, like, no lie. But we're going to my friend's apartment, and we're all gonna get, like, a group of us are gonna get Chick-fil-A and have some cider. Um, I'll probably have a ginger beer. That's gonna be the life for me. So I'm gonna go home now, shower, and get ready for the pool. Cause after today, I need it. I need it cause I am ravenous. I'm so ravenous. And it's so hot, I'm getting parched. So, I'm gonna leave you now. Bye. Of our podcast. Oh, I'm so excited. I had two podcast ideas. The first podcast is called Intern, and that's where I go. Good morning, it is Sunday. Um, currently, I am running late for church, as per usual. It's, I'm always like at least 15 minutes late for church. But anyways, I weighed myself this morning. I currently weigh 209 pounds, like even, like on the dot. So I'm really excited about that. I've been having some I feel skinny days. <laughs> and yeah, so although this week I didn't work out as much as I wanted to, um, I ate relatively healthy and did all right there. So yeah, weighed 209 pounds. It is Sunday. It's a start to the new week and we're just going to keep on going. But yeah, maybe, maybe I'll be 30 pounds lost by August. We'll see if I can lose another nine pounds, but you know. I don't know, last month I definitely like lost quite a bit and then this month, we'll see. We'll see if I'm able to replicate it and then be like halfway to my goal weight within the year. Cause remember, I started this goal last year in July, towards the end of July. It was like July 24th or something like that is when I really started. So it's coming up on the year. It'd be cool if I lost 30 pounds, but at the same time, I also realize I am not where I started. I am in a different place than when I, where I started. So I'm still doing really well. It's just, you know, it took a little longer 
especially last year, figuring out, like, food and working out and, you know, all that stuff. I wasn't really counting calories as well. And still eating a lot of snacks. That was something that I was definitely doing a lot last year. And this year, that has changed. Snacking is... I can't snack that often. But anyways, I'm getting better. Self-control is getting better. All right. I'm going to continue my journey to church because your girl's late like always. And needs to spend time with the Lord in her congregation. All right. Bye. Good morning. Today's the first morning that I woke up and didn't feel like super groggy and tired. Um, because I'm no longer affected by the Zyrtec anymore because it makes me extremely drowsy in the morning even though I take it at night and I'm like you've already been working for eight hours in my sleep and you still make me feel super graggy anyways I didn't go to the gym yesterday today's Tuesday and last night I had bomb sushi at sushi den in denver which i found out is like one of the top 100 restaurants in the united states and top 25 restaurants in denver and i was just like damn it was good sushi like fresh so fresh so good but anyways um had sushi last night also had some sorbet we were celebrating a birthday of a good friend of mine. So, uh, ooh, excuse me. Um, yeah. It was, it was good food. Really good food. But today, working out. It's 5.31, so I'm, I'm just going to do like 30 minutes of cardio. Because I was like, I went to bed late last night. And... I need to get at least seven hours of sleep. So that means I'm not going to be able to get up at like 4, 4.30 to do, you know, an hour and a half at the gym. Just means I'm going to get like 30 minutes at the gym, which is fine. So, yeah, I'm going to go do that now. <laughs> pizza and I ate that entire meal of Thai food so and last week I snacked a lot a lot but you know it happens it happens so I'm gonna get this 30 minute cardio gonna work out and then I'll see you guys tomorrow for the weigh-in also my skin looks very clear very clear. It's nice. Alright, see you tomorrow. Well, good morning. Happy Saturday. I look crazy, as you can see. I'm wearing probably, like, the most cutest, like, adorable little girl hair right now. It's because I didn't really comb out my hair, and it was, like, tight in a fro from just waking up. But I'm on my way to Sprouts right now. I need to pick up a few things before heading to brunch this morning and getting ready, obviously. I'm still not dressed. Oof. Um, but in terms of the weight update, 
I will be honest, last week I did snack a lot. Like, I had snacks throughout the day. And then, well, it wasn't like a lot. It was more so like I had a Cliff Bar. Um, not really, it's not a Cliff Bar. It's a Fig Newton Bar um, by Nature's Bakery. I had one of those every day, sometimes twice a day. And then I would have like the mini chocolates. And then there were a couple meals that I had that were not healthy. I had um, pizza, as you guys saw on Sunday. And then on Tuesday, I had Thai food. And with that pizza and that Thai food, I'm thinking it's more so the pizza because it was way more processed. I was constipated. And so I was like, ooh, I feel very heavy and I feel like I'm trapping a lot of things right now, to be quite frank with you. And so I bought some prune juice. I've had that throughout the week to help kind of clear me out. Sorry if this is TMI, but this is just real life for me. Uh, I just got constipated and my body is just letting me know that I cannot handle processed foods like in that type of amount because it was like a whole pizza personal pizza um in a box that you buy in the freezer section and it was dairy free because you know your girl is lactose intolerant so she can't have that cow dairy at all so yeah i weighed myself this morning i weigh the same well i weigh two and nine point six so yeah there's that um, haven't really eaten anything this morning. I'm drinking a cold pressed juice from Trader Joe's. This is what I'm drinking before going to brunch because going to snooze at Union Station and I looked at the menu last night just to like see about the dairy free options because I have started getting in the habit of really doing that just to make sure that I can eat something there or if they can if they like have goat cheese even if like a whiff of it then I'm gonna be like can we substitute but they have like this that shakshuka thing that comes with the uh, goat cheese I think I'm gonna get that I had a shakshuka at a Tupelo honey and that was really good so I think shakshukas are my thing so that's the update for me I went to a 9.6 I am currently in a Home Depot parking lot waiting for Costco to be open, but I thought I would share a non-scale victory. I've always wanted to be a person who could cross their legs comfortably. And when I was bigger, you know, 24 pounds ago, um, I was not able to cross my legs with ease. It would be so tiresome to try to keep my leg up there. It felt like it was more work to keep one leg over the other. Now I can do it with a lot more ease and I, it's not as difficult. So yeah, I feel like that's kind of like a non-skill victory. It's like being able to cross my legs, um, whereas before I was not able to. And the fact that I can even cross my legs on one side of the wheel is like amazing as well because I could not have done that before so I don't know I feel like I've been beating myself up because I stayed at this weight of like 209 pretty much and um I wanted to like lose weight even though I wasn't eating or making the best decisions possible. So I'm committed this week to kind of do a cleanse, not like a liquid diet, but to drink kombucha every day to kind of help my gut health, have green juices again, and not just like the green smoothies that I've been doing. It's like a green juice, but it's more of a smoothie to me because it's a little bit thicker, whereas the juice is like more thin. So I'm gonna do the suja one. So I'm gonna go into Costco and buy some kombucha some suja the green juice and make sure that I drink that every day to kind of really help my gut health and kind of clear me out and reset my body so I'm definitely gonna do that because I don't want to be stuck at this weight I feel like every now and then it's like every other month I get stuck in a certain space and then I get frustrated a little bit 
and I'm not super frustrated because it is my fault like I didn't eat the best thing but that pizza was heavily processed and my body just held on to that pizza and caused me to not feel clear and so yeah anyways it is almost 10 o'clock I'm gonna go over to Costco now so I can get this green juice this kombucha and kind of reset my body good morning beautiful people I just finished working out I did arms cardio and abs also I don't know if I mentioned that but I always start with abs so that my core is engaged throughout my entire workout and then I move on to whatever I'm concentrating on which is either arms upper body legs lower body and then I'll finish out with cardio so and that's what works for me personally doing it the other way around does not work for me it's easier for me to just do lift and then end with cardio but I went to the gym today it is 5 56 in the morning I'm gonna get to work I'm gonna start my day but tomorrow's the last day of the month and I'm excited I'm excited I also can't believe it's gonna be August like this year has gone by so fast but you know that's life when you're an adult <laughs> tomorrow it's the last day of the month and I'm just gonna cut to it I'm happy to report I weigh 208.4 so still very positive um, I don't remember what I said I weighed at the beginning of this month of July but it's 208.4 I'm not mad at it um, which means I've lost like 25 pounds in a year since my journey so like started a year ago pretty much around this time because I started at the end of July so yeah 28.4 I'm excited to see how August turns out and yeah that's what I weigh I worked out this morning for sure I just finished taking a shower I did 30 minutes on it's like the elliptical, except you just do a deep lunge. It's like the swish, but you're like lunging. Yeah. One day I will know what it's called. <laughs> Anyways, bye. So you guys saw July's recap. Um, you know, it was good. Like. It's been good. I have no complaints of ending the month of being 208.4.8. I don't remember what I said, but I was, I'm 208. I'm 208. Um, I feel like, man, this summer, I feel like ever since the end of May, things have kind of, they've gone down a little bit, but it's, I feel like the progress is getting slower and slower or that I'm more so just kind of maintaining the weight, kind of gaining a little bit of weight and then losing it back down to kind of maintain the lowest amount of weight that I have weighed. So I wouldn't say the summer has necessarily been bad in terms of my weight loss journey, but I've definitely indulged in eating the, what I consider fun foods and yeah so i wouldn't say it has been awful or it's been bad um i just had weddings and i've you know kind of just enjoyed life with food and, and trying not to put too much of a restriction i am however eating overall with my main meals healthy but you know when you're at a wedding i'm not going to deprive myself of cupcakes or, you know, when friends come in town, I'm not going to deprive myself of sweet treats and stuff like that. It's like, why not? So I feel like the, the weight loss journey is kind of... I feel like I'm in a plateau. I feel like this summer has been a season of a plateau. of, But more so 
in a negative sense where I'm gaining the weight, but I'm not upset about it because I have a part to play in this journey. Like I'm the one who is putting myself on it. I'm the one who is, you know, in charge of the foods that I eat, when I go to the gym, how I work out, how often I work out, how hard I push myself, um, what I, you know, supply my body with in terms of the nutrients that I think it needs. So yeah, July has been, it was interesting, it was real, it was good, it was fun. Um, you know, having family in town, going to weddings and 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 being with the people that I care about and love, you know, the past couple months have been amazing and awesome, but I feel like I've definitely, I don't know, I feel like I've reached another level of apathy with this weight loss journey. I feel like this summer I've definitely wanted to quit several times and you know, feel like this is as small as I'm going to get. But then there are moments when I look in the mirror and I'm like, this is the smallest I've been in such a long time. And I look great. I feel great. And typically I feel my best when I am eating the healthiest food and I'm providing my body the most wholesome of ingredients and, nutri and nutrients. So yeah, um, sorry if the light has kind of gone I'm using natural light. That's typically what I use. So yeah. Hmm. I don't know what else to say. Um, other than thanks for watching. Thanks for continuing to stick um, with me on this journey. I feel like for me, it's definitely a slow process. And which is really good. I feel like that's really good. That's something that I definitely kind of had to really take hold of when I started this last July at the end of July I was thinking you know a year from now I could be 60 pounds down only down 25 pounds and I've lost quite a few inches and I do feel good about myself in some ways and then there are days where I don't feel as good and I feel like you know that happens to everyone that happens to the best of us um, in terms of how we feel about our bodies but I just, yeah, I'm not where I started. I have to continuously tell myself that. I'm not at 233, going up to 235 several months later after starting the journey last year around this time in 2018. So I feel good that I'm at the lower 200s. I'm getting into the 190s. And, you know, at the end of this year, I know I'll be in the, you know, 100 area, as in like, the first number, first number on that scale is going to be one, um, which I'm very excited for. I just feel like I've kind of lost my motivation, my mojo a little bit. But, you know, thanks so much for watching. Thanks so much for sticking with me on this journey. Granted, I feel like I've hit a plateau in the month of July. Um, and, you know, working a, a little bit to kind of eat healthier but kind of also indulging in and some treats and sweets and stuff like that so anyways thanks for sticking with me on this journey if there's anything that you want to see in these videos please do leave me a comment below i will listen and make the adjustments accordingly um and the last thing is don't forget to stay kind stay true and stay laughing and i will see you in august weight loss recap <laughs> oh man this year is wild. Oh yeah, she got brown hair now. Only on the weekends though. I need to get a different wig. That's black. Cause this one is brown.